Do you freeze up when it comes to sales and selling? Do you dread sales calls? Or if you have to follow up with a potential client, it makes you feel really squirmy, like you're being too annoying or too pushy? Well, if that is you, you're gonna wanna watch this video because I'm gonna share with you three tips that's gonna make you feel more confident with selling. used to hate selling. I would go in complete panic mode when I got off a sales call, feeling like I did something to somebody. And if I had to follow up with that person, I felt even worse, especially if they ever ghosted me. Everything changed once I stepped into my power and really understood a little bit about the sales process and ultimately how I wanted to be sold to. So I dug deeper into those things and developed some strategies to help myself and others to feel more confident with selling and take that pressure off so we stop being pushy, salesy, or really annoying when it comes to asking somebody for a sale. So yes, I teach coaches, consultants, and solopreneurs how to generate leads and increase their revenue and sales through funnels and automation. But that doesn't mean that if you have funnels and automation that you can completely leave out the sales process altogether. In fact, what it actually means is you need to be even better at your selling technique and feel even more confident with selling. But before I dive deep into those three tips I'm gonna have with you in this video, I wanted to bring your attention to why you might be feeling squirmy or icky with selling altogether. And that's really because we have developed, or I should say, we have really grown up in a very masculine energy around selling altogether and the strategy people are using to sell the products, courses, or whatever it is that they have. And in that masculine energy, and I don't mean male versus female. What I truly mean is we took the emphasis off of the person and put the emphasis on the thing that we're selling. And we created strategies like creating urgency and do this or, and really magnified people's pain points versus magnifying the desired outcome that we're gonna give people and really the person altogether. So if you're feeling very icky with selling, I'm going to probably say or suggest to you that maybe you are going to enjoy the feminine approach a little bit more. And in fact, you probably enjoy the feminine energy approach to selling when it comes to you being sold to. So I wanna break down these three things that I encourage you to play with in your own selling so that you can start to feel really confident with selling because selling really is a beautiful thing and it's part of our everyday life. I've read a book a long time ago by Grant Cardoon where it talks about being selling or being sold to. And it still is something that resonates so strong with me because ultimately throughout our entire life, we are either selling something to somebody, even if that's just a suggestion or referral, or somebody is selling us something. Again, it could be as simple as watching a movie. Here are the three tips or strategies to start selling with more confidence. And the first one really just starts with nurturing. Nurture, nurture, nurture. I cannot express more how we really need to nurture this relationship. This relationship that we build with a potential client or customer should be cherished. It should be our top priority. We need to learn more about the person in order to truly understand if our products or services can actually help them. So the more nurturing you do, the less you show up scary to that person, like you're going to sell them that you're just there to get their money. This will also help to shift the mindset of that you're doing something to somebody and change it to you truly helping them because you are actually understanding how you can help somebody. My second tip for you is to paint the vision for them. Make sure that they really understand how this can help them. I find a lot of entrepreneurs, especially again, talking more about the masculine side of things, go into more detail about themselves as an entrepreneur and how these tips help them become successful, where we really need to shift that uh, image and paint that for our potential client or customer so that they can start to see themselves 
if it's a course that you offer, how that course is really truly going to help them go and meet their desired outcome. This also goes to the fact that, again, in the more masculine side of things, we really focus on people's pain points instead of that desired outcome. If we paint that vision of what's possible, show them the steps, how we can help them to whatever their desired outcome is, you really are painting this picture for them. They're going to start to visualize themselves and therefore the selling process will happen so much more naturally and authentically. Now the last tip for you and one of my most I guess recent strategies and something that I'm absolutely loving and seeing a lot of success for it personally and something that I always teach my clients as well is a concept called infusion selling. And infusion selling simply means that we're infusing the sale in the entire sales process. So as an example, say on a webinar, I'm infusing the sale throughout the entire webinar. I'm not saving it to the very end. And if I'm on a sales call, again, I'm very upfront and I tell somebody I'm gonna get to know you a little bit more about maybe your business and where you feel stuck and offer a program or what I feel would be the best for you to help you work through those things. And I'm very upfront in the entire process and it makes me feel more confident in my selling, but what it really is doing is putting the other person in the driver's seat of the sales process. So it's in a sense taking the pressure off of me and putting it all for them, giving it them the opportunity to be in control of that all. And I think that alone is why it's so much more successful because people don't feel that they're being talked to and put up against a wall. Now, the other thing that I incorporate with the infusion selling is asking for consent. So as an example, say on a webinar, uh, before I bring up the programs, I will simply say, I'm gonna start to share more about my programs and give you guys an idea of, of the different things that I offer. Does that sound good with you guys? Are you okay? Are you ready to move on? Asking for that consent, again, it puts them in that driver's seat. Now, the example of a sales call is, I will be upfront and say, are you okay that I offer these things? Giving that consent, it puts them in the driver's seat, it makes them feel in control, and it doesn't, again, back them up into a corner where they feel like they're being sold to. And these results alone, or these strategies alone, have increased my overall sales and makes me feel less icky about selling altogether. But my biggest tip for you, and I guess if you wanna call this or consider it a bonus tip for you, is just to put yourself in their position. Always consider how you feel when you're being sold to and how you might feel if you're on that other side of your own sales call or webinar or whatever tool tactic that you're using for selling. Put yourself in their position so that you understand where you're coming from. Selling isn't about becoming somebody you're not. You don't need to become a certain person in order to be confident in selling. You need to just sit and swagger in the confidence that you have in the skill set that you own and be confident there because ultimately people are purchasing because of you. They don't want somebody different. They don't need somebody different. They need you to step into that person to really be confident in that skill set and share with them, paint that vision and just have an authentic relationship with the person on the other end of that call. So I wanna know if you, after listening to these tips, can feel more confident in your selling. Are you the type of person who squirms when it comes to sales or maybe you're totally confident already? Let me know in the comments below this video and I encourage you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I do teach you all about generating leads and therefore income and really making more of an impact for other coaches, consultants, and solopreneurs. So if that is you, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell because every week on Sunday, I post a new video. I'll see you guys next week.